Good morning, everyone! Welcome to the weekend vlog. I have just woke up, it's Saturday morning, and today is so miserable outside. It's really, really rainy, overcast, gloomy, which wouldn't be a problem if this was a day that I didn't have to do anything and I was just gonna sit at home, but I have a few things to do today. I need to go get my nails done because, again, my hands. The tan on my hands, it never goes right on my hands. But what I'm going to do is wash my hands with a bit of Bondi Sands tan remover. I need to get my nails sorted out today. There's not even any more shellac on this nail or this one. And it's even worse on my other hand. So I need to go get my nails done. And I need to go to Chermside with Gary and get him a shirt for tonight. Hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Look how brown my hands are. I think I'm gonna go sort that out now. Hideous. started doing that when my hands just come out a bit darker than I'd like but I think it actually makes a little bit of a difference and makes the tan a little bit more even and less Ugh. I love you bye going to get my nails done now and online it said they open at 10 and I just called them and it's 9 now and they're already fucking open Unlocking it would be a good idea. It's a bit hard to see me, it's a bit dark. I like to get there before they open, or just as they're opening, because then I don't have to wait. Oh my god, this car with that whistling, can you hear that? Did that person just beep at me? Why are you beeping? Alrighty, here we are. Alright, I'm not gonna take you guys in because I'm not I'm not ready. I'm not ready for that. Okay, so I went with something totally different than what I'm usually used to. You can't really see in this lighting, of course. God, that is so unflattering. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. So sorry. Um <laughs> we're gonna go pick up Gary and then we're gonna go to Chermside to get him a shirt. And also I wanna maybe get myself something to wear for tonight because I had a look through my cupboard and I really don't have a lot going on. All right, just walk right out in front of me, doll. No, that's fine, that's fine. Friggin' moron. I love how this Minnie Mouse headband sticks my ears out. <laughs> ears are on, robe is on. That means only one thing. And that is that it's time to get ready. I'm not gonna make you sit through this whole thing because I just, me personally, when I just have to sit through someone just doing their makeup, I get so bored. So, I'm going to just run you through the basics. All right, to prime, because I'm using a matte foundation, I'm going to use a glowy, dewy primer. So I'm using the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. It just squirted everywhere. Well, that'll do. You can see my nails a bit better in front of the ring light. I love the dark color. I haven't had a dark color in so long. Next, I'm going to fill my pores, although I probably should have done this first. I'm gonna fill my pores with the Benefit Pore Professional. My most vital part of priming, because I get these red spots everywhere, is using the Becca Backlight Targeted Color Corrector in Pistachio, which is obviously the green one because it counteracts red. And I'm going to apply that on all my red spots. It just makes it so much easier to hide under your foundation. Like, this is one of the products I probably couldn't live without. At this point, I'm gonna do my brows, and obviously you've seen that all before, so I'm gonna do that off camera. 
brows are done. And as usual, I used all Anastasia Beverly Hills products. I used the Brow Wiz, the pomade and the brow powder as well. I'm moving on to foundation. I'm using the Fenty Beauty foundation and my shade is 230 for when I am tan. And just like that, I forgot that I was filming and I think the last clip I was doing my foundation and now Boom, straight to this, I'm completely ready. Anyway, I just put a little wave in my hair, nothing crazy. I did a sort of, it looks just brown on the camera, but it's more of like a burgundy kind of smoky eye and my mascara is going all over the place. Yeah, so I'm going to pack my bag and head over to my friend's place because we're leaving from there. I'm not going to take my camera because it's raining and it's like an outdoor thing and there's going to be lots of people and blah. Well, I'm a little bitch and I don't want to film in front of people, but we'll get there guys, we'll get there. I will see you when I get home. Oh my god, there's like a thousand cockroaches in my house. One, two. <laughs> that one flew. Oh my God, where did they go? Oh, there it is. I just want my wings. They're in there, but there's cockroaches surrounding them. Can you turn that off? I'm trying to vlog here. What are you doing? Listen to my favorite song. We are both not feeling the best this morning. It is Sunday now and I have to run to my friend's house to get my car. Just like I did in the other vlog. And I woke up to this on the floor and I know for a fact there's a cockroach under there. Probably dead because I trapped it under there last night when I was drunk and I haven't let it out yet. Okay. Oh yeah, it's dead. Ah! Oh fucking hell. You scared me, you little shit. I'm gonna go get my car and then I'm gonna get this one, some ice blocks, some pot noodles. Oh yeah, pot noodle please. <laughs> <laughs> Are you thinking about your pot noodles? Yeah. Yeah? Hey guys, it is currently Sunday night. Last night was so much fun and I haven't looked at the footage that I filmed last night when I got home. I know that I filmed something because I remember having the camera out but haven't had a look at that yet. I will be editing this video as soon as I finish filming this outro clip but I feel like I'm gonna have made a fool of myself once again but that is fine because as usual this is some real life shit. Last night when we were at the engagement party um the our friends who were actually engaged they also have their own like candle business and they have the best smelling candle ever like literally so this is one of them the brand is called house of otto i really really love the packaging this one is called the schnauzer and all the candles are named after dog breeds which i think is really cute and uh, if i can take the lid off with one hand oh it smells so good. I got another one as well, um, and it is currently burning out in the lounge room, so I can't show you that one at the moment because I'm too lazy and I'm sitting down already. Literally, I could smell it all day. But they're massive, and they burn really nice and slow, and they completely fill a room with the scent, and 
they're only 20 bucks. I definitely recommend you guys try them out because if you're not looking to spend like $40 on a candle and still want a really amazing scent to fill your house, I will link their website down below so you guys can go have a look. This weekend was really fun. I hope you guys liked that I did an extra vlog. I'm going to try and do that again this week and maybe film a sit down like beauty vlog. Um, not vlog. A sit down beauty video but we'll see if I have anything to film. That is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!